Gentlemen, welcome to your favorite Chelsea Journal YouTube channel. I hope all of you are doing great. And today we have logged in again on chess24.com and we're playing with white pieces against our opponent. Uh, his name is Vinvin and, uh, and he's from Croatia. Okay, so we wanted to play the London system and I don't know. <coughs> I don't know what that movie is. D6, D4, D6. Okay, let's uh, keep on playing the London system anywhere. Let's, I'm going to play the knight f3 first. And then play... Okay. So, I wanted to play a London system, but... Against... They say that against anything you can play London system, virtually speaking. Uh, here, I this is the best move, e4, for sure, I know. But just for the sake of instruction, I'm going to play here. All right. So I know they're going to fianchera their Oscar Bishop. And today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I'm going to launch an attack uh, against this kind of system or setup. And uh, one of our uh, full-time viewers and subscribers, Rob, if you have, if you are watching this content at the moment, I hope uh, it's gonna be beneficial for you because you have said that uh, against this kind of setup in London system, you find it difficult when you know when the Fian Shadow there at Oscar Bishop. You find it difficult to launch an attack. So this uh, this is the way you can follow your games. Uh, here, this knight is actually guarding this square, so we are now allowed to play before ourselves. So they have castled. And now we need to develop our Lysker Bishop. We want to play here, though. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play here first. Bishop e2 because I want to play here, and then there. So if I play there, imagine the pawn is here on this square. So they're gonna just simply take with the knight. Although uh, I, I myself have played. Rook takes a uh, knight, exchange sacrifice. Uh, we do this once they are castled. Make sure that it, they once make sure that they are castled. So if rook uh, rook takes knight, they're gonna retake with the pawn, and maybe we will be retaking the pawn with our queen, giving up the exchanges. But that's what happened in shorter time controls. Here, this is a long, a bit longer, although it's a blitz game. But I played that those kind of thing in two minutes blitz game or three minutes blitz game. Here they have developed their knight here, but I guess playing c5 was their best move because the thing is uh, they should have anticipated that we are going to attack, launch an attack here. So in this case, you need to imply this strategy as well. When you see your opponent is uh, trying to launch an attack one area of the board, you need to start creating your own play in the other area of the board, or you, or maybe in the center. Right, so I'm just going to push. H4. And maybe... Okay, so they have stopped that idea, and you know what? I'm just I'm gonna play here. So takes, takes, takes. Hmm, so I want my knight to defend this square as well. How am I gonna do that? Uh, by going here, maybe. Yeah. Let's go here. And now let's, yeah, the queens are going to be off. OK. 
Okay. Now this pawn is challenged multiple times. Okay, now change <laughs> change of plans. Uh, here there is no point of uh, trying to attack uh, here on this area of the board. Uh, but that's all right. I mean, in chess, we always uh, have multiple plans or change of plans. Um, uh, we have to remember that the queens are not there on the board. So what we do, remember I've just said uh, they're attacking here. So we need to attack there. So let's dive in. Target this pawn, or may, um, maybe this pawn, maybe, if allowed to. Okay, now that actually doesn't uh, stop us taking this pawn. We're going to watch out this one. So now a rook is threatened. So if the rook comes here, maybe we could have also considered a uh, castling short. Or taking. Yeah, I think let's take first because this square is guarded with our knight and bishop both. So they do not have this thing to penetrate our camp. Uh, let's actually, uh, because this bishop is aiming for this pawn, let's actually take this bishop. And now their their pawn structure is a bit damaged. And and this square is guarded, uh, as we talked about. Now we can jump in with our last square bishop here. This is a threat now. Beginners tend to play like here, but then in that case we have this one. Okay, that's a good move. Uh, that's a good move, but we can actually take the knight. Let's take that. So now we can take the pawn, deliver a check. And and now what? Hmm. Now this is a tough call. Now what do we play? What do we play? Our bishop is attacked. What do we go with our bishop? Okay. If the bishop goes here, this pawn is loose. Okay, I'm gonna play here. And give up I mean this, this. Now the rook is gonna probably yeah, rook has gone there. Uh this square, let's target that one, let's check. Yeah, check, winning this material. Sequence of uh, tactical calculation. Now, let's take this on here and, oh wow, they why didn't they take this one? That allows us to play here, right? But I'm, I'm not a fan of playing like that way. Maybe in shorter control games, I could have played that one by defending this. But that, that's also going to what? That's also going to stop uh, moving our light square bishop. So we can defend this pawn by developing our king here as well. So let's do that. Because our bishop is also doing a great job of uh, defending this pawn. So how active your pieces are is going to... Uh, 
Okay, now I guess now I'll play this one because if the rook needs to be here on this. I'm sorry, where is he from again? Croatia. Okay, you can see his stats here. He's a good player, very good player. 1891 uh, rapid. Oh boy, I only have two minutes and 33 seconds. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna blame the talking. Okay, okay, now what? Now what? I'm gonna uh, develop my king close. Oh, why did I play there? I thought uh, well, that's a blunder, man. Or is that a blunder? Oh no, okay. That's not a blunder because my <laughs> I'm just evaluating myself. Uh, I'm just evaluating me by myself. So on the surface it looks a blunder, but no, I have the rook, rook's activity. Uh, what is that dark square bishop doing there? I don't want to go there now. Just attack this dark square bishop. If the bishop goes here, maybe then I'll play here. So they have gone there. And yeah, let's play here. Oh, why why isn't it working? Oh wow, okay. So that's a good move. Discovery, okay. Let's put the let's put the king here. They don't have a large square bishop. So the king should stay put on light squares for the moment. <coughs> Only got a minute and 54 seconds left. So their rook is tied up here or here. They could play here though. And then once we take, they can take our pawn. Let's see. It's good to see that. Okay, they're thinking now they have played. Um, mm -hmm. Now, how do we continue? Let's exchange rooks. Then we have this pawn. Okay. Let's put. Sorry guys, I'm a bit mute. Only got one minute and 35 seconds left. <coughs> uh, that's a good move. That's a good move. Did you guys see that? That's a good move. This is called minority attack. Now, if I take here, it's going to take there. That's a good move. Okay, let's take that one. Okay, now our bishop needs to be activated. Target this pawn. And we have a passed pawn. Let's see how they defend this one. Very short time on my clock. <coughs> I don't know what that move is. I'm just simply going to take. Bishop there, pawn there. Yeah, this is completely winning for us. We got millions of pawns, active king, a very active light square bishop. So yeah, cool game. So they have left the game. And okay, let's review the game on the as we wait for the automatic victory. <clears throat> uh, 
Right. So the game started with we playing. Let's claim the win. We started with d4 and they played d6. Uh, had we played uh, e4, probably they would have played the Pierce defense or or if we play have played c4, the king's Indian. Okay, knight f3, g6. Yeah, they were they were like sort of like I think they guess they are King's Indian player or the Pierre Park defense player. Now we played e4 because our plan we want we we simply okay up until this we were playing the London system. <coughs> now the <coughs> excuse me. Now the game has. Uh, Converged into a queen spawn game, sort of like Jababa London ish type. But uh, yeah, this is a queen spawn game. We want to, why we played here? Because we want to launch an attack here. Uh, they castle, but we wait uh, till they castle. And we develop our life square bishop here because we want to put our pawn, h pawn here. And this knight needs to move. Okay. Now h4, and they defended that by playing h5. Okay. Uh, in some shorter time control games, I even uh, sacrificed my ally square bishop here. And you know there are a lot of uh, fantastic ways you can play, but those are again in shorter time control games, maybe in two minutes bullet games, or three minutes blitz games. But here, this is a ten minutes time control. Your opponent has got time to think. So. But still, uh, give it a try first. The break on the center, capture captures, and queens are off. So once the queens are off, uh, the knight jumped in here, aiming for this pawn. And uh, what is the counter blow we have? We have this one, uh, developing a knight in the center, attacking this pawn with pawn and eyeing up this pawn as well. So I guess that's, I didn't expect them to play this one. Uh, yeah, that's a weakening move because now we took the pawn and uh, attack their rook. And once the rook is saved, we simply take the rook first and now take the light square bishop. And this is a target. We have just created a weakness in their camp and developed our light square bishop here on c4 square, aiming this pawn. And they played uh, knight d4, defending and as well as attacking here. So we just simply uh, snatch that knight and they capture with the rook. And here we deliver the check now we could have uh, we could have okay let's go back we could have taken the knight um, but why do that let's uh, better move our Dosker bishop here and tag their rook so rook needs to go some okay no so <laughs> they have this knight. <laughs> All right, so now we take the knight, and rook has come here, and we castle because this file is open, and bishop gone there, guarded by rook. Yeah, uh, I think this was a well played uh, game uh, by us. Yeah, we, we wait to play e4 move because I was anticipating that maybe this one was a possibility. Uh, they should have got focused on... As you can see here, e3 is weak and they have targeted that one, so which is the reason why we play here. And now King C7, we went here. I thought that's a blunder, outright blunder, because uh, maybe if 
for a second for a moment i thought okay maybe i should have gone there but then again i yeah i found out that no that's not a blunder because if we go there we have our rook's eye open uh here and this is a protected passed pawn and bishop d2 now we tag there down square bishop there's no point of staying here or we could have gone here uh, they do not have this one due to this pawn okay so they moved their bishop and now we played c3 bishop d6 and that was a good move uh, setting up let's go back setting up a discovery so we just tuck the king and now b5 and here we want to exchange the pair of rooks they played there and we just grab the rook and here from this point in time we just that was also a good move and here there's no point of playing for them because we are uh that was that was a mistake i guess why they played there why not here i don't know okay now yeah they have resigned because this is a past one how are they going to they have to stay here on this diagonal but at the same time this is gonna be a passer or this is a connected passbon so yeah uh thanks for tuning in guys and those of you who are new to this channel please 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 consider subscribing those of you those of you who already have subscribed i can't thank you guys enough um yeah till the next time take care of yourself Bye bye